So I'm videotaping the cars that are in the parking lot. <laughs> and I'm coming from a new way. Good morning. I've been fighting the urge to feel like I'm late because I had an expectation of what time I was gonna get up or no, that's not true. I had to figure out whether or not I was gonna set my alarm or not or just let my body sleep. <sighs> but I have a thing that I get to do today Notice I didn't say have to. I get to do this thing today. I get to go to this conference today. But it's all day. This is just a really cool perspective of the dam. So you can see it from here because I'm about to go down into the woods again. Oh, there's the Cardinal. There's the City of Rock Hill guy. I learned that the City of Rock Hill owns this park, but it used to be owned by the nuclear station. I'm guessing because of the power with the dam. I haven't done a lot of research, but back to my day. I had to make a conscious decision. Oh my, I feel like I need to, one moment please. like when my camera's zoomed in. I'm also trying to make sure that my fingers stay out of the picture. All right, so we're going to our spot from a new um, direction. <laughs> and I'm talking about how I have, oh, Okay, crossroads. Oh, look at the little squirrel. Oh my gosh. He's to the left. Oh, he's a little baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sweet little baby squirrel. What you eating? Look, he made this little hole. All right, I'll leave you alone. Have back at it. So this is the trail that I pick up on. And that's where I wasn't sure where the trail went to, but it goes to, straight to the parking lot. So it is my new favorite shortcut. But I decided to set my alarm because I didn't want to miss out on this. It's almost like I have an appointment. And if I make an appointment in my calendar, then I purpose myself to make it a point to go. But if I don't have an alarm to remind me of my appointment or make sure that I'm there on time for my appointment, because this appointment, I know the sun is going to rise every morning. Well, I don't know how well I'm going to see the sunrise. Oh, this is pretty. You see what I mean about how the clouds just make the sunrise that much more glorious? <laughs> like what? If there weren't clouds right there to bounce those sun, re sun rays off of, the sunrise wouldn't be as, hmm. Well, whatever you would describe it as. I said glorious. What would you say? And by the way, I think there's people in these fishing stations, so we're not alone. That's why I took a picture of the cars. Probably should have got their license plates, but you know, I don't want to be that much of a creeper. One of those cars indeed was that city of Rock Hill guy, so he saw me. Oh, I need to hurry up. As you can see, I'm later than usual because sun indeed is just coming. And there's the airplanes or airplane. 
Gotta hurry up and get to my spot. I brought my chair today and I brought a towel. No, I went to go get the towel, then I traded it for the chair. <clears throat> I hope I don't interrupt anybody's fishing. I brought different shoes today, hoping that I might be a bit more adventurous. We'll see. We need to talk about boundary crossing. But I'm glad that I set my alarm. Yay! You know, watching a sunrise that comes up from behind a tree line only leaves you with a bit more time to get to the sunrise before you miss it and I call it a sunrising. <laughs> so that's really what we're doing. We're entering into a time of mindfulness with the sunrising. The sunrise, hmm, in my opinion, that happens when it breaks the horizon on the beach because it's an unobstructed view. <sighs> I didn't want to miss this. It's kind of like having a date. If the date is important to you, or the person that you're going to go on the date with is important to you, you prioritize it. And when you, when you make it a priority, it's kind of like how I've asked you to put your slides in your slideshow. Put your slides of your eight dimensions of wellness in priority order to how you feel like you would like to be working on them. So it's almost like if I made you put your goals in priority order, what dimension of you would you start with? Because that would help me help you as we go about the rest of our semester together. Help me help you. <laughs> how are you breathing this day? where your feet are and wherever your feet are going today are you taking time like throughout the day to center or ground yourself and breathe well and kind of drown out the world and the distractions all around you can you do that anywhere I've been practicing it in my car at stoplights. It's like a natural pause. Like you have to stop because the car in front of you stop. So I've been practicing doing that at stop lights, stop signs, traffic jams, whatever. Because I like to go. <sighs> go, 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 go. But it's not good for me. The doctor says so. The Bible says so. <laughs> so ask anybody who's old and wise, is it better to go, 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 or to slow down? See what they say. <clears throat> and then they'll probably talk about prioritizing, time management. That's what I'm struggling with. Are you struggling with it? Making my priorities reflected in my time management. Hmm. So what are your priorities? What order is your, all, are all of your dimensions going to be put in? So what's first, what's second, what's third, what's fourth, what's fifth, what's sixth, what's seventh, what's eighth? <laughs> so that's gonna be your work for sure on Tuesday. And there's one class today that's not seeing me because I'm not there. I have an appointment. 
and I may not be late for it, so I'm able to stick around for first block, so yay. And then I have to peace out, and then I come back. So I only get to see two of the three. And if you're listening, and some of you are, to varying degrees are we listening? Or is that the difference? What's the difference between listening and hearing? All who have ears, let them hear. But listening, mm, active listening means you repeat back. It's drive-through talk. So what I just heard you say was la 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 la, and you tell it to me in your own words. Maybe that's what we start practicing. But if you were self-reflecting and doing the really hard work and typing it or I really wanted you to write it because you don't write enough anymore. And there's something to be said about taking something that's digital and making something, connecting with it physically. So you to, for you to pick up a pen or a pencil and make the letters with your handwriting, they're saying there's evidence that brain-based evidence, intellectual dimension domain evidence that proves that writing something down is more impactful in a positive way to your brain than typing it and putting it in your phone. I do both and I do need to do the written. Remember the planners I asked y'all to buy at the beginning of the year? I want everyone who has one to pull one out on their desk. I need to find out who has a planner, <laughs> an actual physical one that you write on. Here comes the sun. I want you reflecting. You don't have to write about the things that I'm talking about, but you can. But you need to write these things down so that you know what? You can go back. It's accountability to yourself. And then, yeah, I put it in my phone. I put a reminder or two. Then accountability in the form of another human for me is my favorite and it's the best. So I've got an appointment and then I've got another appointment and then it turns into something longer and that's good. I'm going to need that. You're going to need that. What is that? <sighs> time. We all need time. Or maybe I should say we want more time, but we get what we get and we don't pitch a fit. But oh yeah, we do. <laughs> I think every time I hear an airplane, I just need to take a nice deep breath for my own personal benefit. <sighs> Thinking of all the people on the airplane and saying a little shout out prayer that they get where they're going and that they're well and healthy. And that in the spiritual dimension, somehow they're feeling touched and blessed in a way that when you go on an airplane, I just feel like you can see the world from such a cool perspective. It's so, the word is majestic for me. I always, the word majesty and majestic comes to my mind when I'm in an airplane and I'm looking out the window and I'm looking over the clouds, above the clouds. <sighs> Not everybody gets that perspective. Not everybody gets to have the privilege to be able to hop on an airplane and go somewhere. Oh, with one minute to spare, sweet students, sassy and salty all alike. Just know that I care. Oh my gosh, last night's football game was so great. Mm, homecoming, coming home. We're gonna talk more about that. But just appreciate the time that we have together, just in this class, talking about sports, talking about nutrition, talking about life, talking about wellness, talking about, what is this class about? We need to figure out a way to tell people what this class is about, sports, nutrition, but <clears throat> even more than that, it's really a wellness class. I don't like that they're using the word nutrition. I wanna see if I can change it. Because all the other classes 
I just don't want the title of the class to be confusing for people that sign up for it in the future. So as we take these last few minutes, or I should say seconds, because I'm trying to honor the 15 minute, if you ever need more time to be introspective, then take it. If I know you're practicing something that is being moved in you, then yes, please go for it. But I do need you doing the work and it is almost impossible to grade the real work that I'm talking about. But yes, please do the other ones too. Show some integrity, show some character and care about your grades because if, even if you don't, there's other people in life that do. Here it comes, woo, come on. Gonna get now it's gonna get to where it's too bright for me to watch so I'm gonna wrap up with your priorities they matter does how you spend your time reflect your priorities do you set alarms for things that are important reminders even isn't it nice to be reminded of something or do you not like being reminded point is, is that my phone has to remind me of a lot of important things and they are important to me, but my brain is a highly distracted brain that I work very hard at keeping present in the moment. So prioritize those slides, put them in the order in which you feel like you want to invest your 24 hours a day. And by the way, sleep, it's a thing. Have a good day. Invest your time well today.